Smokemaster D here to help you answer the question, should I upgrade to a PID controller for my pellet grill? Now, maybe you bought your pellet grill a while ago before PID really became a popular option. Or maybe when you got your pellet grill, you didn't know that PID was an option. Also, you could be like me, and when you got your pellet grill, you couldn't afford one with PID. And now, sometime later, you're wondering to yourself, all of these more expensive pellet grills have PID control. Is that what I should get for my pellet grill? And I'm gonna help you answer that question. PID stands for Proportional Integral Derivative. A PID controller works on a control loop mechanism, and this allows you to have a set point, and it controls the outputs based on the incoming inputs from its sensors. The basic idea is that you have a set point in your temperature and the sensory details coming in from your temperature probe are going to allow the controller to change how much fuel or how much air and fuel is sent to your burn pot. And then the resulting change in the fire and the temperature of the fire in the burn pot going to change the temperature in your smoker. Now, to understand the benefits of a PID controller, it's also important to understand the alternatives. In this case, we're talking about the time duty cycle controller that has traditionally come with pellet grills. Now, the way that it works is that you also have a set point here, but as the auger feeds pellets into the burn pot and it gets hotter, eventually the temperature is gonna pass that set point. And at that point, the auger is turned off and no longer feeds the pellets. So then the temperature is higher, and then once it burns those pellets, it starts getting cooler in the burn pot, and as the temperature goes down, once it passes the set point again, the auger turns back on. Now this lag period creates inefficiency in the burning of the pellets. So when that happens and the temperature is going down, they're going to smolder and create dirty smoke, which is smoke that you can really see. Now, if you're inexperienced, you may think, wow, this is great. I can see that there's a lot of smoke getting to my meat. But as we know, the light blue hazy smoke is what's going to produce the best barbecue and is what you actually want to be cooking your meat with. So that is not good smoke. It's actually bad. Now, duty cycle controllers do have a way of managing this. Both Traeger and Pit Boss duty cycle controllers have what's known as a P setting. Now, the P setting controls the number of seconds between feedings of pellets from the auger into the fire pot. So with this, you can try to make your fire more efficient by getting the pellets to go in at the right amount of time to create the right temperature. The only problem with this is that it's still a system based on overshooting and undershooting your set point. Also, when you get that P setting dialed in where you want it, it's not going to change in relation to the conditions outside of your pellet grill. Say that the sun comes out and is now on your grill, or there's a really strong wind that blows, or it starts to rain, or the shadow of your house passes over the grill, and then that P setting that's going to still be overshooting and undershooting a set point is even less efficient, making it so that the performance of your pellet smoker is way far below optimal. A PID controller is designed to fix these problems. If the conditions change, the controller changes the outputs, either the auger or both the auger and the fan, to create a steady temperature. Now this is going to save you money in pellets in two ways. Firstly, each pellet that you get into your burn pot is going to burn efficiently and create the most heat that it can. Secondly, when you cook meat at a steady temperature, it cooks more quickly and you save money on the pellets that you're not using to continue the cook. Now say that you're a fan of the smoke that's produced from less efficient burning. And let me note here that there are times when some white smoke can be good on your meat and create a good taste. 
uh, especially with milder smoke flavors from woods like fruit woods, you know, apple or cherry or peach. There's an easy solution to that problem. All you do is you separate smoke production from temperature control. The way you do that is simple. You have a PID controller for your temperature control, and then you can get any number of products that can create more smoke in your chamber. Many companies have tubes with which you can burn extra pellets. Smoke Daddy, a company that gave me a few of their products for free to make a series on upgrading pellet grills, they have several products, including a smoker ring with which you put pellets in there to burn. They have cold smokers that you can pump smoke into your cooking chamber to add extra smoke flavor. And lastly, they also have what's known as the Heavy D stick burning heat diffuser. And with that, you put chunks into these cavities in the heat diffuser and that creates extra smoke. So there's really no reason why you can't have both temperature control as well as extra smoke flavor. I hope I've given you enough reasons to make a decision on whether or not you want to upgrade to PID control. Now, in my next video, I'm going to take an in-depth look into how Smoke Daddy's Patriot PID Wi-Fi controller works to control a pellet grill. In my next video after that, I'm going to look at various options for PID upgrade, different controllers that are out there. So I hope that you'll stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I hope to see you for the next installment in this series. Bye.